called The Family Cow. And it is by Dirk Van Loon. He's a Cornell graduate in agriculture. And he wrote this book, I think it was in 1976, if I remember right. So it is an older book. Um, but it still has a ton of awesome information. And Gimli is wanting to play. Come here, Gimli. Come say hi. Hi. You like the family cow? All right. So why did I want to read this book? Um, because I want a family cow. That's probably the best reason to read a book like this, right? And I know it's going to be several years before we're able to get a family cow, but you know, it's never too early to start learning. Um, this book it covers pretty much everything you would want to know, at least on an introductory level. Um, it c covers um, topics like buying and grooming and handling and fencing and housing and calving and milking and pasture and feeds and health and milking. Did I say milking? Breeding. Um, I know I said calving. Um, all that kind of stuff. I have my notes right here. Um, it's a really good book. It has, it was written in the 70s, so it has black and white pictures and drawings. Um, so it does give images. It has lots of charts and graphs, which is always an awesome thing to have. Um, I do wish it had more information about things like common diseases and how to treat them um, rather than just really glossing over a lot of diseases um, or a few diseases. I think they covered the basics of like mastitis and calf scours and stuff like that. Um, it does in the back of the book have what a what it has a wonderful list of other books and resources which i really like and actually some of them are on my list like um the butchering processing and preservation of meat by frank g ashbrook um so that one is on my list um basic butchering of livestock and game has been on my list for a while too raising poultry the modern way i think i might have that book and i might have already read it um, and Raising Rabbits the Modern Way. And I know that book has been in my house. I don't know if I have it. Like as a kid, I know we had Raising Rabbits the Modern Way. Um, so would I recommend this book? Yes. Um, I had just gone on Paperback Swap, a book trading site that I use, and I wanted books on a family cow. This one came up and was available, um, and it was the first one that shipped to me, so therefore I read it first. Um, I would probably give it four out of five stars just because it is a little bit of an older book. Um, some things are a little outdated or a little just too much information at, the, at this point in time for me, but it is an amazing resource for keeping a family cow and we're gonna keep it definitely at least until we have our own family cow but probably indefinitely um, I'm really looking forward to down the line having our own family cow because I am I want their milk for drinking whole milk um, and then I can use their cream for butter and and cream ice cream um, we can start making yogurts. Um, it's just, even though goat girl, but goats produce a homogenized milk. They don't, that the cream doesn't separate easily like in cow's milk. So it's a lot harder to get enough volume to make a lot of those things. So that is why we are learning and reading and researching getting a family cow so when we are ready we can dive in and do it so 
If you have any questions about this book or anything else, leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on books I should read, leave them below because I love to read. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of what we do. And thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.